Hello guys, Altus Tech here, and welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Uh, first off, I want to give a great big shout out to Abiotic Motions for designing my new intro, as you guys just saw. He did a really fantastic job, couldn't be happier with it, so a great big shout out to him. There is a link in the description below for you guys to go ahead and check out his channel. Uh, so yeah guys, this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to add an awesome metallic effect to your text. As you can see, it's really, really cool. Uh, it's a mildly, mediumly easy uh, thing to add. There are quite a few steps involved, so I recommend watching this tutorial two or three times just to make sure you get it right the first time when adding it on your own. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by creating a new document. Going to File New. I'm going to make the width and height 1200 by 600 pixels, leaving the resolution at 72. And I'm going to have the background content set to white. Press OK. And we're going to go ahead and select the Paint Bucket tool, first of all. And I'm going to make my background layer here black. I have black selected, so I'll just make that black. And I'm also going to now create a new layer by going to Layer, New, Layer, or shift Control n whichever you'd prefer. And I'm going to leave the pres preset options as they are. They're fine. Press OK. And I'm then going to go into the Color Picker. That's actually what it's called, as you can see. I was surprised as well. And I'm going to go ahead and select a light gray color. That should be fun, right about there. OK. And I'm going to make this layer one here uh, using the paint bucket tool, this light gray color. So I'm just going to click. And as you can see, it is now light gray. No surprises there. I'm going to go back into the color picker, and I'm going to set the color back to black, as we're going to have to have that set to black soon in this tutorial. So let's have that set to black. And then we're going to go up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, having layer 1 selected. And I'm going to set the amount to 150%. And I'm also going to have Gaussian and Monochromatic selected. Go ahead and press OK. We're then going to go back into Filter, go to Blur, and I'm going to go ahead and select Motion Blur right down here. I'm going to have the angle set to negative 10. And I'm going to have the distance set to 200 pixels. Press OK, and you should be left with something like this. I'm then going to go up to the Crop tool, which is this tool right up here, select that. And what I want to do is crop out the darker region right in the middle here. So I'm going to get in there with the Crop tool and select what I need, like so, perfect. And I'm going to hit Enter, and I have the area that I needed selected perfectly. OK, now what we want to do is add our text, so I'm going to use the Text tool here. I'm using Arial Black as my font, but you can use whatever you'd like. I'm just going to type out Altus Tech, which is the name of my channel, of course. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to boost the size of my text. So I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale. I'm going to hold Shift so it doesn't lose its proportions, and I'm going to scale it up just like so. Perfect. OK. So we have that done. Now what we want to do is take our text a uh, layer here, and we're going to move it behind uh, layer 1, so we're just going to drag and drop, just like so. We're then going to go ahead and select layer 1 here. We're going to go up to Layer, and we're going to select Create Clipping Mask. Now what that does is basically just overlays the layer 1 style over to the text layer, as you see there. So you should be left with something like this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select the text layer again. And now we're going to go down to this little FX button down here, and we're going to select Bevel and Emboss, which is the top one right down here. What we're going to do is we're going to set the style to Inner Bevel. I'm going to set the Technique down to Chisel Hard. I'm going to set the Depth to 500%. I'm going to have the Size set to 7. And I'm going to leave Soften at 0. I'm then going to go down to Glass Gloss Contour, which is right down here. I'm going to select the Box here. And I'm going to have the preset set to ring, which is right down here. Press OK. And I'm also going to have anti-aliasid. I can't pronounce that word. Jeez, I can't pronounce that word. But we're going to have that selected. So we're just going to click that and have it selected. We're then going to go down to gradient overlay right down here. Have that selected. We're going to go into presets. And we're going to have the black to white preset selected. So right down here. We're going to press OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the opacity to 70%. And 
and we're going to have the blend mode set to overlay right down here. Press OK and we're going to have uh, layer 1 selected again. We're going to go ahead and open up a new layer. Go to layer, new layer and I'm going to this time have use previous layer to create clipping max mask selected and I'm going to select the blend mode to overlay which is right down here. Press OK and now what I want to do is I would like to uh, I want to add a oh, of course yes I'm sorry <laughs> just blanked out there for a moment. Uh, what I want to do is go to filter render clouds and as you can see it added a kind of a dark to white effect which is going to be very useful later on in this process. Now what I want to do is go back up to filter we go to there we go there quite a lot in this tutorial I'm gonna to go to blur and I'm gonna to go to Gaussian blur I'm gonna set that to 10 pixels the radius to 10 pixels and I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and you should be left with something like that next up we're gonna go ahead and add a new layer once again going to layer new layer I'm going to use previous layer to create clipping mask set again uh, I'm gonna have the blend mode this time set to multiply and I'm gonna have filled with multiply neutral color also selected which is right down here then we're gonna press OK I'm gonna go up to filter once again and then gonna go to a noise add noise and we're gonna keep the same preset options we had before when we first started so just press OK we're then gonna go back up into filter once again and this time we're going to go to noise median and I'm gonna have the radius set to 9 so it should look something like this press OK and then we're going to go ahead and lower the opacity of this layer right up here down to 70 and press enter and there you have it guys as you can see you're left with this awesome metal or metallic whatever you want to call it effect pretty realistic I must say and I'm really happy with how it turned out uh, so yeah guys I hope this really helped you guys out uh, obviously you can still edit the font uh, of your text here so I can change this to Broadway which is kinda cool I've never even seen this text before but it's actually pretty cool uh, you can also you know uh, save it as a PDS and open it up later and edit it then uh, so there are quite a lot of options when using this effect but anyway guys yeah that is pretty much it uh, please make sure to comment rate favorite and subscribe as always uh, check out my channel for more tutorials such as this, also more tech type videos. Uh, thank you for watching as always and stay tuned for more.